can actually see me in this thing. Um, but a new a new vlog, I guess. I don't do vlogs much, but uh, yesterday was a pretty interesting day for me. So it'll be about that aftermath. to say you know I really don't do vlogs but um, I've seen this this positive trend of people documenting their lives um, which I think is very powerful you know uh, as a content creator I make short films um, when I'm not doing that in order for me to you know pay for my living my income um, I do commercials and, and stuff like that you know um, I try to do the ones that speak to me the most but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, you know? Um, but anyways, yeah, so this is a vlog, filmic vlog number two. You can check out my first one, um, my trip from Orange County to Toronto, right over here, over here in this corner. Um, but yeah, this is a, a filmic vlog, sort of the aftermath of uh, yesterday, which was June 24th, uh, 2017. I shot my first uh, like full documentary um, on teenage sex trafficking in the city of Compton, California, not the best place to be in. And also for these, uh, for these girls, it's like, you know, these girls are 12, 13, 14 years old. A lot of them have their personal identity just stripped away from them. They come from foster care. They come from um, child abuse, physical abuse. Um, the ones from out of the country, their passports are taken away from them. Um, all the crazy stuff that you can think of. Um, I'll put a, I'll put a link down below. You guys can check out some of the, uh, the literature from um, RDS, uh, which was the sort of like the intermediary uh, organization. Um, Sonetta is the is the is the young lady, um, not young lady, but young at heart, right? She's the one who um, saw this. No one was doing anything about it, so she decided to do something about it. So you guys can check that out below. Um, just some of the literature as far as like signs to look for um, when teenage girls are victims of sex trafficking. Everything from posters on a telephone pole saying, you know, here's a party at a yacht, uh, age limitation, like, you know, 12 to 14, stuff like that. Um, it's, it's sad to see like these girls just hustling on the streets um, with like their pimps following them or keeping tabs on them. And 99% of the time, these girls don't even get any of the money, you know, um, they pretty much are just fed. Um, they have a roof over their head and, and that's about it. You know, all the money goes to their pimps and, and things like that. So, yeah, I shot that yesterday. Um, you know, fatigued and all that, but you know, it was uh, it was good. Just seeing so many people from the community volunteer to help out and to actually go out on the street. That's the big thing. You know, is to go out on the streets and go to the um, like the hot spots, the corners uh, down Long Beach Boulevard, and try to talk to these girls and and give them an opportunity and a new life. You know, um, the the drop the drop facility is a is a small unit where people can come to for um, everything from like hygiene. They can shower. There's food and snacks there for them. Um, they're also given opportunities to uh, start with with a fresh start. You know, like a GED program, um, get any type of, um, of medical aid, and help them find find jobs doing you know um, something along the ways where they can uh, they can just start moving forward with their life. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the stuff you, you saw beforehand was just, you know, my style of shooting. I don't do these types of like talking head vlogs that a lot of them, I mean, I think everyone likes to do them, right? Um, I do them mostly on, on my cell phone, you know, Instagram story and stuff like that. So I post a lot of weekly content, almost every other day content, uh, 60, 60 second videos that I make them very filmic, very cinematic. Um, at least my perspective on that. I'm here in a yoga studio because I teach on the weekends yoga. I love it. Been doing it for a while, and um, I don't know what else to say. You know, other than uh, the documentary, I'm working on a lot. So you know, the next month or so, it'll probably just be a lot of behind the scenes stuff um, on my Instagram, um, and also uh, also be making like little short inspirational films on my YouTube channel and filming commercials and, and stuff like that. You know, uh, weddings. But yeah, hope you guys found this somewhat entertaining, possibly, I hope.
hopefully I'm in focus right now. Um, as I I have three cameras, so I primarily shoot on my A6500, and then other times I'll use my A7R2. Uh, the R2 I typically save for like special ones, um, as the dynamic range is just higher. Otherwise, I have to use um, S Log3 with the A6500, which I can do. It's just it's just a pain in the ass because you have to. There's just a lot more that goes into using S Log3 than you might um, you might imagine, and uh, you can do a lot with S Log3 on the A6500. And I think the A7S2 has has uh, S Log3, but there's just so much noise that you have to do much more work just to remove the noise and then add noise or add grain back into your footage to, to, to kind of make it less video-y and more filmic. Um, and if you're doing like a 60 second, you know, YouTube thing or Instagram thing, like just, just use S-Log2 or, or Cine4, you know, it's just, it's just a lot easier. Um, but I've shot stuff with S-Log3 and it turned out like fantastic, but the amount of work I needed to go into it for like a one minute, two minute thing, I was like, fuck that man, just, just use S-Log2 and you know, special ones will use S-Log3, you know? Um, but yeah, I also have a Canon 80D, which I primarily use for talking head stuff when I film um, uh, interviews for commercials and things like that. Um, but you know, I, I was traveling this weekend and for the documentary, I didn't want to bring all my cameras, so I just brought the Sonys. So I don't have anything here with me and I really wish that the Play, what is it? So like the Play Memories uh, mobile app thing, hopefully you can see that. Maybe it's in focus. But yeah, the, the Play Memories app, I know you can you can connect wireless, wirelessly to the Sony cameras, so that way you can see your, um, you know, it's almost like the, the viewfinder basically. But I don't like using that because you can't use your custom picture profile, so it's, it's a pain in the butt having to just like, you know, load up the, load up the app, sync it up over Wi-Fi, I can see myself, then exit out of the app, make sure I'm on the right picture profile, and then from there, you know, I could be out of focus, and I have to do um, like manual focus, which, which is fine, but then I have to go back, and it's a pain in the butt, you know? So um, I just choose to hope that I'm in focus with the Sony um, auto-focusing system, which is pretty good on this on the on the A6500. I'm shooting on the uh, Sony 28 millimeter uh, f2 lens, which pretty much just stays on this thing. I never take it off, you know. Um, if I don't use that, I use the Sony 18 to 105, the four. Um, and I'm pretty sure you probably got bored of this video, so you probably clicked away already. Um, which is my cue to end this vlog, I guess. So. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Look look for the documentary coming out and probably the next month or so. So uh, like end of July-ish. Um, and yeah, you know, if you if you like some of my other videos that I posted, my little short films, inspirational films, um, feel free to subscribe only because if you like those videos. If you don't like the videos, if you think they're trash, don't subscribe, hit the thumbs down button. Um, hit the thumbs up button if you just like the video, you know? Um, and again, subscribe only if you want to just see more content from me. That's what I do when I like someone's uh, video, if I found them through YouTube. Um, I subscribe because I want to see more of the stuff they're coming out with. So I think that is what's important um, as a viewer, um, as a content consumer on YouTube is subscribe to the people that you actually like their videos, you know? Uh, but hey, my name is David Lee. I say that a lot. My name is David, David Lee. DCL, you see that a lot, D. Lee. Um, channel's called at David Lee, so that's my name. Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed some of this, the process of documenting stuff. And um, yeah, I'll try to make the next one more fun, exciting, something like that. Mm. And one last thing, I don't know. I'm thinking I may get some drone stuff for the end of this. I don't know, maybe, perhaps. Do you guys like drone stuff? You guys like flying aerial stuff, maybe?